In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a box score with TurboStats for baseball and softball. There's several ways to do it. If you score live with Scorekeeper, you could create a box score right from your Scorekeeper game file. If you just enter your numbers in TurboStats, you can create a box score for just one team, or you could also make it a box score for both teams if you keep the stats for both teams or all the teams in your league. First thing you want to do is open up the team you want to create the box score for. Go into the game form. Now if you're using the scorekeeper application, what you want to do is click on import from the scorekeeper app. Okay, well first let's pick the game that we're going to be importing the box score for. If you're adding a new game here, uh, you'll be able to create a game at the end of the list here automatically. Or if you're using TurboSats League Planner Pro, you could select the games beforehand that are already created. So highlight the game, hit import from the Scorekeeper app. Here's a list of your games in Scorekeeper. As you import them, they'll go away. You might have to hit new game if you want to go back and do uh, an old box score. Uh, but typically, uh, you're going to be just seeing the games that you haven't imported yet in this list. So let's highlight a game here and click web box score. It's going to prompt you here for the name of the opponent's team file. And that's important for the purpose of making sure the link's right if you're going to have uh, web pages for each team posted. So just hit open to that. It'll also uh, line up the logos for the teams as well. Then you want to select if you're going to be using player photos, if you've uploaded them to the cloud. Uh, you do that in the team form by hitting add photo. So if you have player photos up there, turn that on. If you have team logos, you can pick whether they're PNGs or JPEGs. If you want to have a background, you could set that. And you can set the format of your box score here. If you want to have enhanced stats like fielding stats in the box score uh, or other enhanced stats. Um, so you can see we made the box score just batting stats now. And then it's going to prompt you to pick uh, the top players, top performers. If there's any ties, you'll get a pick list of all the players who tied for total bases. RBIs and runs. You can select whoever you want out of the list here. Um, and then hit OK. And then you can make a write-up. If you want to use any bold, you put the HTML uh, code here for strong and then slash strong if you want to make one part of it bold. But typically you just make your write-up here. And uh, if you're using League Planner Pro, you want to put a box score number. And if you're just doing it for your own league, make sure you increment the box score after each game so you don't overwrite the previous box score. And you can give it a game ID. If you have your own uh, website, you want to create your link here. You can put in the path to your main site here, and that'll show up as a button on the box score. Uh, the teams will have their own links to their team pages if you're using the TurboStats team pages. Okay, and so what you want to do here is just hit post website when you're finished. If you want to add a photo, you could hit add photo and you can replace the photo. Okay, just pick any photo you want. Um, okay. And then if you want to add a score sheet, if you're using Scorekeeper, you could create a score sheet. You just pick the game in question here out of the list here and then hit print scorecard. We like to use PDF redirect here. You could use any PDF uh, printer. Okay, and what you want to do is make sure you save your PDF file in the WinStats folder and make sure that the name of the file matches the name of your box score name. So it'll automatically put it in here. You could just paste it. Hit shift insert or paste, right click and choose paste. And it'll put in the name you have to make this PDF file the box score. See, it's going to be the name of your uh, league name here. This could be the name of your team, whatever you want to call it. And then an underscore game, and then here that. And that's the format you have to make. So you could hit save. That'll make the box score, um, the, the you know, the um, scorebook page file. And so if you want to post that, you could do that. And then you just hit post website when you're done and it'll post it up to the, the web. There's also another way to do this. If you are just entering your stats in TurboStats and you do not use Scorekeeper, if you just kind of come in here, 
create players and enter their box score stats. What you could do is go to the compile stats menu and we have a new box score button now. So if you choose that here, um, it will load the game into the box score uh, program. If you cared about loading the other team, what you need to do is do this once for this team. And so this is Columbia in versus Tito. So now I got to exit out. If I want to do it for both teams, now I got to open existing team. And I got to choose this uh, Columbia in team and go to the games and then highlight this game versus the team that was just in Tito's and then hit comp compile stats box score and so that loads this team's data in here so if you click on Columbia and they're the visiting team alright so then you have to hit load other team you want to clear out the old data say no and this will prompt you for the data file that you just made which was Tito's game 8 versus Columbia in. I have to click on that. And now that loads it in. If I hit box score here, it's going to load the box score. The same prompt here for selecting the players you want to choose for the top performers. And now you see the uh, box score is loaded here for both teams. You could do the same thing. You could type in a recap. It's the same screen. Add a photo. Make sure you set the photos correctly here. If you leave this blank for the home link, it'll use the team name, and then, you know, you just hit the post website. Okay, let me um, create a different name here for a sample here. Uh, let me just delete this. It should put in the name of the team. So let me hit post website, and it's going to ask for the name for the team that you're playing against. So let's just pick Tito's, and go through the motions here, and... It didn't put a team name here, so we're just going to call it Tito's. So you could really put whatever you want there for the name. And then we're going to go to View. And let me make this fit here on the page. This is what it's going to look like for your viewers on the website. Um, if you have, I didn't load a photo in this time, but it would show a photo in here if I had a photo. Here's your recap right up and your player stats. And if you want to go to the team's uh, turbo stats page, you can just click here. If you want to go back to the team site, you can click here as well and go back to the team site. If you added the scorebook page, you can use the scorebook page. If you're using iScore, another program, you could use the PDF and it would have a score sheet menu here as well. So you could just hit Tito's and you go back to their team page. And this is your turbo stats. A team page what it looks like and then if you want to go to any of these box scores you can click over here and it'll take you back to the box scores so you can go see them right from the team pages and that's